I've got an issue with green string algae in this tank. I don't know where it's come from, but in today's video, we're gonna try something to see if it works, and that is doing the blackout method. Welcome back guys to another episode of Naquascape. Now I know I've been away for a couple of weeks. I've been visiting family. Restrictions have eased here in the UK. So packed up the family. We went to see my parents and my in-laws so they can see their granddaughter who they've not seen for about 11 months. So forgive me, I'm sure you understand. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on me doing different setups of different aquascapes using different materials, product reviews and unboxings, and me trying things to overcome any issues that we have in the aquascaping hobby. Just like today, green string algae, I'm gonna try the blackout method. Now I've never tried this method before. It's gonna be the first time and you're gonna actually see, just like I am for the first time, if this method works or not. All right, so this is the ADA 45P. This is the scape in question. Let's have a closer look at the tank and I'll show you what I'm on about. And there you can see some green hair algae. And then you can probably see at the back, just around, where's my finger? Around there at the back, there's some algae there. So I'm gonna take most of it out with a manual toothbrush. All right, so a large water change has been done. This tank is now sealed up. I just put some black bags around it, uh, waste disposal bags and some green tape just to, you know, tape it all together. Made sure that, you know, there's no areas of light that can penetrate through the tank because obviously I've got this ADA 60P next to it, which could do with the blackout as well, but we'll leave it because it's going to get a rescape. But this one, you know, let's test if a blackout works. Perfect kind of little experiment to do for you guys so that I can show you whether you know we can get rid of your green algae, algae however you want to say it using this blackout method all right then guys so it's coming up to six days um, where I've had this tank completely blacked out it's all wrapped up in plastic what I've got to do now is you know have this room slightly illuminated take the plastic off very slowly so I don't shock the fish slowly add light to the room so these fish kind of slowly come around and become accustomed to light again and then I will show you once the light is back on the fish have been accustomed for a bit I will show you and I will see for the first time myself as well one how the fish are and two if we've got rid of this green string algae let's do it all right guys so i think it might have worked in terms of the fish they all seem to be fine i've kind of just left the light on low not on the tank but just in the room so they get used to the light over a period of about a couple of hours um actually it's been three hours i'm going to take the cling film off at the top i'll then put the light on top switch it on and we'll have a closer look to see if we have got rid of the green string algae using this blackout method man i hope it's worked All right, 
right so i remember there was a load of green algae here and it looks like it has gone can't really see any is that some just down here let's have a closer look yeah so there's just a very small remnant here just on the glass but overall let's just have a closer inspection if it's gone so it's all gone from the back there all of that was green algae all gone all of this moss here had algae on it all of that has gone and I think overall all the green string algae has disappeared the tank does look incredibly clean you know what we're going to look at now we're going to look at the condition of the plants particularly the stem plants let's have a closer look so at the top we're getting emerged growth so the plants did not stop growing although they did not have their usual fertilization routine or any co2 or any light for five days so they're still looking decent let's have a look in the water okay so the stem plants have taken a hit you can see um, the rotala orange juice you can see the leaves aren't looking too great try and focus in on there they're not looking good so they're going to need reviving stem plants like the rotala orange juice probably rundifolia other stem plants will take a hit um, let's have a look at the madaka actually see if that's okay so the madaka at the back that's the green plant at the back that's looking absolutely fine quite a robust plant so not worried about that Starigyne repens looking good just down there no problems with that all of the loose moss has kind of blocked the flow of the inlet so that needs sorting so I'll get that sorted now set up the CO2 again set up the timer on the lights but overall guys what we can see is that this method has worked you know I know there was a load on the Busa Philandra and yeah blackout method um, works to get rid of green string algae so I'm really happy with that and the moss this is um, Christmas moss no this is willow moss looks superb absolutely superb fish themselves are still okay they're doing really well really healthy I'm so happy about that that was my my, my major concern is is the fish overall great success you know what let's give these guys some food they must be starving This moss here, which is Fissidens moss, <laughs> almost forgot what it was there, doing really good. Again, when I trim it, I'm going to keep it because it's hard to get hold of now. So if you've got a tank of Fissidens moss, then I highly suggest you keep it. All right then, guys. So that is me doing a video and seeing if the blackout system works on getting rid of algae, especially green hair algae. And you know, you can see that I just tried it and documented that process for you. That's how we do on this channel. And in this tank, we've got rid of 99.9% .9 of the green algae by doing this blackout method for five days. If you found this useful, this information useful and me doing these type of videos where I'm trying things and documenting the process to see if it works or not, then, you know, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and comment, do all of that stuff. It really helps the channel. It will really help me get to my goals of, you know, being an aquascaper and you know really giving you the knowledge and the information you need so that you can get your scapes off to the right start and you can troubleshoot your scapes and not get stressed out about it that's the main thing i want to do for you guys on this channel you know is give you the information so that when something doesn't go quite according to plan with your scapes you can easily solve it without any stress and actually just sit back relax and enjoy your scapes so that is it from me i really hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching until next time ta -ra.